We're getting on a cruise ship. Yeah. Line is. Wow, line is. I'm, I ain't moving. Here is Grand Bahama. It really barely fits the required height to enter Senor Frogs. Oh my goodness, he really brought his video game out here with him. So this boat right here just hit our ship. Good morning, today is day two, April 20th. Sorry we did not end the vlog last night or show any of our food at the restaurant. We were sat with other people and I didn't want to be rude at the table. And then we were just exhausted. We came back to the room and went straight to bed. But anyhow, today we are in Grand Bahama. And um, we are, we don't even know what we're gonna do yet today. We're just going to play it by ear. We've never been here and we weren't planning on coming. This was just like a last minute. We have to make a stop. So we're gonna stop there for the day instead of have a sea day. So we'll let's see uh, what the where the day takes us today. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast. Danny's still sleeping. I need some coffee and get this day started. And look who woke up. Look who joined us. Here is um, where we are, Grand Bahama. This is the um, port side of the ship. It shows you the little village area. And then the beautiful ocean out here. Look at this yacht, guys. Maybe this is mine someday. Right here. Oh, babe. Those are the windows. Window. Those are the panoramic room we were trying to get. Oh, let's break in. <laughs> we were trying to get one of those rooms. So we're going to come down and look at this bridge area. This is where the crew is when we're out at sea. So you can see the captain and stuff like that out here, which is pretty cool. And there's a map over here. I don't know if you can see it, of where we are. They have a little sign there that says, work in progress, do not operate over the buttons. Oh. Tell people not to touch it. People are working the ship. That's their control center. How cool is that? How cool is that? And then they have like a little thing that tells you about the bridge right here. So here and this gives you a map of the control station. It's what? It's a monitor with a live map display of where we are. Oh. In our course. Oh. This is the front of the ship, the direct front. Well, this is actually where the helipad is. We're gonna go up to the helipad, but look at this view. And you can see, I'm guessing these cruise ships have to be tendered in from, um, the, from their ships. It looks like there's a tender boat or something out there. And then, you know, if you order anything off of Amazon, We'll get it right away because there's the shipping yard right there. Oh yeah. The special vehicles they have lift the containers. Yeah. They're huge. They're larger than a house. And they're just driving them around like you know, like golf carts. Yeah. See it, but there's a boat coming in. <gasps> Look, there's my yacht again. <laughs> This is the very front of the ship. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And then, see the rooms over here. And up at the top was one of the rooms we tried to get. Those are the panoramic views, but we didn't get one. Either that or a balcony, and we got neither. Here comes all the shipping containers coming through. Oh yeah, that tugboat is helping it turn. Oh, and look at the, the worker people on there. See them on the bottom? Here is a view of the ship. We are in port right now. That's the view. And now we are going to walk around this little village area. All right, so let's just walk. Look at all kinds of little tri trinkets and stuff. Up the, the coconut for the drink. And you just take them back there so they can use them for the, um, for the drink. They have 
the popular Senor Frogs here. So we're going to go look in the store and see what they have in the actual store. So they do have some house rules to come in here. As you can clearly see, Sherry barely fits the required height to enter Senor Frogs. A little bit, a little bit over, right in the green zone. six feet, you think? Certain days you act like it. <laughs> Don't forget to drink, because I'd forget to drink. <laughs> Dear Karma, I have a list of people you missed. They some cute little Christmas tree uh, ornaments that are cute. Some spices. How real does this look? I really thought that was a person standing next to me. <laughs> I think these are the cutest things. They are salt and pepper shakers, but they look like coconuts. This is called Dick and Willie. Going on, and this is what happens. Like sailing, like, here comes this tugboat. Let's see if he's gonna try to pull it out. So now we have two tugboats. Okay, so this one's moving back. Let's see. I don't know. The other one's still still over there. I think they both need to be pulling back at the same time. I don't know. That one's got on the left has his uh, tug rope all the way out, but the other one isn't even backed up yet. I wonder if the strategy is for one to pull and the other one to push, or are they both going to pull? I think they both have to pull. If they push, it's going to push it further into it. Well, it'll push it further against the, the dry dock. No, oh, but they're trying to get this part out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The other boat's to hold it in place, but the other one moves the part of the boat that's wedged into the ship. Oh, it's tugging. It's tugging slowly. The rope is taut. Yeah, it's pulling ever so slightly. Not to do any further damage. Ah, uh, it's moving. They're getting it. See, I told you. Ah. One push, all the one pull. Look, you can see the side, I think, where it hit the wall. There you go, okay. Now they made the rope taut, more taut. Now they're now the, the boats are plugging. Alright, so they got it out from the front now. And we're, we're not sinking, so that's good news. Now they gotta assess it. Now look at all the look at all the workers on the on the ground floor taking pictures. Oh yeah. Video. Looks like there's no no big major damage on the Tropic Freedom. So look, the Tropic Freedom seems to be okay. Now they're going to go at business as usual. Okay, now the tugboats are pushing Tropic Freedom where it needs to be. Good news is, guys, someone's going to get four jet skis delivered to them. And, uh, you know, the Bahama authorities, are, they're doing all they can to make that happen. It was just a tiny little love tap, that's all it was. Just knocking, knocking at our wall just to sail up. Treasure, 
ladies and gentlemen, let's see what the score is. Uh, Another bad score. Uh, three point one one two five nine eight seven six. Three hundred twenty-five pounds of New York. It's happening. Still here. Huh. Oh my goodness, he really brought his video game out here with him. He really did. He brought his, his video game. I think I think we're boring him. It's a little bit. So the ship that hit us is on its way out to sea. So hopefully that's a good sign. That means we're good to go too. We're waiting to leave Freeport. And this one keeps telling me I have a thing because I want to record the horn. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Never heard of that. No, you Never. are. You're supposed to record Never. the horn. It's a thing. Leave down in the comments. Tell me if that's a thing or not. It is a thing. Yeah. Day 20 here at the Bahamas. <laughs> Waiting for the infamous horn. <laughs> Stop it. Have I heard the horn yet? Maybe they broke the horn during the crash. Now look, pulling away from the wall. better with the trumpet. What, what kind of horn is it? I think that was the horn. You built up the excitement for the horn so much. I was expecting Yeah, like I think it's sentence. usually more than that though. It usually goes like it's two like or a three. Deep horn. It's like, yeah, oh, and oh. it goes like two or three times. And we came back to a little elephant. Mm -hmm. 